Hello, I'm Leanne Sparr. In this section, we will discuss invoices and trade discounts. The topics we will cover are, we will complete an invoice, we will understand common shipping terms, we will calculate trade discount and understand why they are given, we will differentiate between single and series discounts, and we will use complements to calculate series discounts. Let's begin by defining an invoice. An invoice is a tool that businesses use that provides a printed record of a purchase and a sale. Let's examine this invoice and let's complete the extension totals. This invoice, Dave's Auto Body and Paint, purchased from J&K's Mustang Parts with certain items. 24 filler tube gaskets at $2.25 each. 24 times $2.25 is $54. 12 pairs of tail light lens gaskets at $4.75 a pair. 12 times $4.75 is $57. Six pairs of tail light bezels at $10.80 per pair. Six times $10.80 is $64.80. Two gross of door panel fasteners at $14.20 per gross. Two times $14.20 is $28.40. And 18 bumper bolt kits at $16.50 each. 18 times 1650 is $297. So the invoice total, we add this column, is $501.20. We add on shipping and insurance to obtain a total amount due of $524.95. You will notice that the terms on this invoice say net. Other invoices have different terms. You will see the terminology FOB, which means free on board. When the terms are FOB shipping point, that means that the buyer pays for the shipping. If we have FOB destination, that means the seller pays for the shipping. Cash on delivery means the shipper delivers upon receipt of cash, and FAS means free alongside ship. The freight charges are paid to the dock by the shipper. Now let's look at some definitions. Trade discounts are often given and are subtracted from the list price on an invoice. A single discount is when only one discount is offered. A series or chain discount is when two or more discounts are combined. Now let's use complements to find the series discounts and to get the net cost equivalent. Let's find the net cost equivalent for terms 20, 20, 10. The complement is the number that must be added to a given discount to get one, or actually it's the portion that is paid. So if this is a 20% discount, then the complement would be 80%. 20% complement would be 80%, and 10% complement would be 90%, and we multiply these complements together to find the portion that is actually paid, which is 57.6% is the net cost equivalent. Now let's do an application problem finding net cost equivalent and net cost. Continental Fertilizer Supply offers a series discount of 10 20 20 on major purchases. If a 58,000 gallon tank bulk of liquid fertilizer is list priced at $27,200, what is the net cost after trade discounts? So we have a series discount of 10 20 20. So we will obtain the net cost equivalent by multiplying the complements. which is 90% times 80% times 
which gives us a net cost equivalent of 57.6% or 0.576. So the net cost of the liquid fertilizer will actually be $27,200 times 57.6% or 0.576, which is $15,667.20. In this section, we have discussed invoices and trade discounts. Invoices are certainly an important part of business which you will run into in your future. So we have discussed common shipping terms and trade discounts. So it's time for you to go and practice some problems.